unveiling of new unisex hijab sparks backlash. <laughs> what? Milan Fashion Week, the fashion brand called the United Colors of Benetton, released a new fashion innovation headpiece dubbed the unisex hijab. The headwear is part of the fashion company's collaboration with the Tunisian-Italian rapper Gali Amdouni. The piece was met with backlash online. Ex-Muslim activist Yasmin Mohammed commented on the hairwear, headwear saying, quote, now men can also cover their shame. No need for them to be walking around like immodest and naked like animals. <laughs> Hashtag equality. <laughs> According to the company's website, their collaboration with Gali aims to promote, quote, creativity and dialogue with the new generation. Gali stated that he is tired of hearing how everything Arab or Tunisian is associated with negativity. And he defended the unisex hijab, saying that it represents the diversity of Europe. Is, is it working, though, Suze? Do you feel less attracted to this man because of the hijab? Actually, You're yes. Because the way that it <laughs> face is really bizarre. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're saying you can you're saying you see his hair, but then it goes mm. right under the lip. It covers the chin, goes under the lip, but you can still see the hair. It's confusing. It's it's the fit under the lip that makes it awkward and unattractive for me. Mm. So are you are you able to control yourself now? <laughs> <laughs> Would you have would you have attacked this man b without his hijab before he put this on? Honestly, no, no I probably don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Think of a man that you would attack publicly if you saw them in a, in you know and you couldn't control yourself, and then imagine them putting this on. Would it work? Would you then be able to control yourself after you see them up without the hijab? Yes. We, okay, so you're saying this? You and you you endorse this? I endorse this the it, it's, it's effective. It's it's effective. <laughs> um, I wonder what the what would the be what would the be, what would be the Islamic um, reaction to this? Like, if you are an actual like Islamic scholar, I think the reaction to this be would be this is ridiculous because. Men and women are built differently. They're psychologically different. Uh, women are not as horny as men are, which is it shows you what kind of woman they hang out with. Um, it's a lie. It's a, that's a lie. Um, and, and therefore, you know, men don't need the protection that women do, okay? Um, or e even, even if, okay, here's the thing. Maybe if I want to steal my them, they would like, even if women be as horny as men, okay, even if they be that horny, they physically would not be able to force a man into bending into their ways. Okay, I'm trying to be PC here so that we don't get like a strike or anything. Um, and therefore, men will never be in danger, even if, like, you if even if a woman sees a man that she's like uncontrollably attracted to, and she can't contain herself, she technically doesn't have she doesn't have the physical power to be able to force herself upon him, and that's why men would not require the hijab. Okay, so and that's why this is like ridiculous, and this is not Islamic, and this is um, fetishizing Islamic. This is oh, this is cultural appropriation right this no is it's using... not because he's tunisian like he's from a muslim background oh crap um you tried it <laughs> yeah that those blue eyes didn't wait is that it what is that on his on what is is that the that's the logo that... that's the rapper's logo so this is remember what? this is a collaboration with a mm -hmm. tunisian italian rapper Okay, it's not cultural but I think appropriation. It's actually, having a logo on the hijab is like something that's not okay because that was a big controversy when Nike was releasing like sportswear hijabs because it had a Nike logo on it. Or maybe that was more because Nike no. is a pagan god. Name of a, no, Nike is a pagan god. That's why you can't have that. Mm. Is that is that the moon and the the, the crescent and the star? Is that like no? It it's like it's like a G that has. Um, oh kind of a weird design to it because his name look at him so proud look at him the way he's looking he's so well that's proud not of the rapper idea. that's just a model i'll oh, show you model. let me show you the actual rapper okay so 
<laughs> this is Gali. <laughs> this is him. He's wearing in his he's wearing his uh his unisex hijab. Oh my god. He you features know, it saw... a lot in a lot of his um in a lot of his posts. So you can see him wearing it here. Hmm. And see the fit of it is so weird. The way it fits on the face is so unattractive, but Ghost Bunny is saying it's just a balaclava. Like, yeah, it's just it's like a ski mask. Like this why is pretty is it normal. Why I'm not are gonna lie, the material the of it does look very comfortable. Mm. It does look comfortable. I do I do I do support this. I think like when they do this, more people are gonna be talking about what the point of hijab is. And the more you talk about what the point of hijab is, the more people realize how this is modesty culture. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like in this, I mean, okay, so he actually, this is really good. This is really good, okay? Okay, here because you can see a, a woman wearing it. Hey, I'm speaking. Don't interrupt me. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is really good because, because um, a lot of Westerners support the hijab for saying that this is their culture. How, do, how dare you criticize their culture, okay? And we, we be, okay, so now you have, Tunisian rapper, they were like, okay, I'm Tunisian and this is our culture. And now you see the backlash to it towards it. And the backlash towards it highlights what hijab is actually about. This is not just culture. Hijab has a purpose, right? This is not celebrating some customs and traditions that is just like local and it's just a beautiful thing to celebrate. It has a goal. It, it's intended to accomplish a job, okay? And when you see like, okay, so if you, had, if you have a job for women, what's the argument for not having a job for men? Now you get into the debate of what is the purpose of a job. And highlighting that will bring more attention to the fact that this is oppressive, this is anti-woman, and this is the promotion of modesty culture. So I very much support this. Very much support this. What do you think? Um, I, I just think it looks kind of ridiculous. Um, I think it was partially to promote his new single that he just put out called Voila. And it's actually a really good song. I was listening to it earlier. But what's interesting is that he has a paid partner. This is another like Islamic influence thing. He has a paid partnership with McDonald's right now where he's turning the McDonald's logo into saying voila. As you oh can see God. here. I'm surprised there wasn't like backlash to that. Like, I mean, because voila is not that a symbolic of a thing in Islam. You think so? Yeah. Vikram is saying, I think everyone from of any, yes, actually, this is so good. <laughs> Guys, we have to come up with, uh, add them with their own narratives, right? So some people are like, we're anti-hijab, and the counter they have to that is like, we think everybody should be able to free to wear, wear whatever we want, they want. And as, as if like, we didn't say that they shouldn't be able to, we're just against it because of what it represents. Obviously, they have the right, okay? However, Let's use your own, the people, like, because the argument for why you are pro-hijab in, in Saudi Arabia or in Iran is different from why you're pro-hijab in Western countries. In Western countries, wearing the hijab becomes about freedom, okay? And again, when, from that aspect, yeah, we define your, everyone's right to wear the hijab, but we just don't defend what hijab represents, okay? However, given that we defend the right for everybody to wear the hijab, then you should in that spirit you should defend the right to for men to wear the hijab right so yeah let's let's like are you where are the muslim people the muslim the muslims in western countries that are the liberal muslims in western countries who were their their argument for defending the hijab was that this is a freedom for women to be able to choose what they want to wear would they now apply that same logic and defend this hijab? Because if they don't defend this hijab, we know that there was another reason behind the promotion of hijab, okay? Because if you say, no, I'm for women being able to choose whatever they want, but I'm against this, then you're a hypocrite. You should be able to defend this exactly based on the arguments that you were defending hijab for women. So they come out and show, show us that you're consistent and defend this hijab as well as well why do women 
get the right to choose what to wear whatever they want and men don't hmm this is i i this is sexism this is anti-male sexism by the way <laughs> i'm noticing anti-male sexism in the live chat why are people coming at me when when susie uh, interrupts me and i tell her not to interrupt me why are people coming at me but when i interrupt susie um and i like oops i, I shouldn't have interrupted susie people are like oh yeah it's so good guys this is equality okay See, we already made we already made Susanna the CEO. Okay, don't come at me with this whole white knighting Susie. Okay, I don't I don't accept this. Okay, <laughs> Susie is. <laughs> I don't understand. Look at this. People are just taking your side because because you, this is sexism. This is absolute sexism. <laughs> this is sexism from our own community. Where are the people who defend me? Because when they I'm don't getting... like you telling me to shut up. I didn't tell you to shut up. I just said okay. I would let me finish. I just told you to <laughs> let me finish. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, it is true. People are way more sensitive about someone saying that to a woman than to a man. Um, mm. But we talk to each other like that all the time. You and... guys, the people who are, the, you guys better come to my defense as well. Okay. Like the, not just Susie. This is like some, this is some hypocrisy. Or, you know, I, if I, I, say, I got you, Armin. Susie, no interrupting, Armin. <laughs> Watch out. Thank you, thank you, Vikro. Thank you. There you go. Finally, it was it was, uh, it was International Men's Day yesterday. Okay, I need to I need to shape up. And you didn't. It was International Men's Day yesterday, and you didn't even send me one single message of Happy Men's Day, Armin, or anything nothing because you missed our board meeting i was i was saying that to the rest of the board <laughs> amazing <laughs> guys happy men's day to me and everybody all the other men in the live chat please everybody yeah like okay break from saying simp for Armin. yes um thank you thank you okay <laughs> guys happy men's day everyone ha belated happy men's day anyways let's continue i'm kidding by the way Wait, what are we doing we love Susie here, okay? This is all joke. We love each other. It's all yes. it's all love, baby. It's all love. Vikram say all men are kings. <laughs> Happy if men's day. If you're men. part of the so public community, you are a king. Yes, yes. Um Oh, like music guy saying Armin too busy at the gym to join the board meeting. Guys, I no, was it's joking, because... he actually didn't have to attend. No, it's not that I didn't have to attend. I shouldn't have attended because I'm not on the board. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not on the board. That's why I didn't attend Atheist Republic's board meeting because I am not on the board. I'm not. Why would I insert myself there? Okay. Just because I'm the founder, that doesn't mean I have to insert myself where I don't belong. Okay. I am purpose to not join. <laughs> where I don't belong. I'm not used to hearing Norman talk this way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the custom is uh, 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 we we know, we know it's okay. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Callie, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below <laughs>